week six recap of my level two in foundation and counseling course. And this week was a really fascinating one. We were looking at the difference between feelings and emotions. And in my mind, those two are exactly the same thing. They're interchangeable, but it seems within the counseling scope, there's some interesting nuances between the two. And we're covering this at level two. So it's very, uh, very basic, very simple how we are looking into it. And with that level of understanding, the best way that I can sort of describe it is feelings are something experienced consciously, perhaps in reaction to something happening in the environment or internally. And it's sort of like an in the moment thing. Whereas emotions are a state of being um, and you can be conscious of it or, you, or, or unconscious of it and it can be a, you know, a, a big driver of, of your behaviour. Um, so, you know, things like happiness, sadness, anger, fear, envy are what were sort of described to us as, you know, main emotions. And then from that, you can have feelings like, you know, feeling anxious, feeling distressed, um, feeling joy, feeling light, feeling comfortable. There's, it's, it's interesting how the, the difference sort of manifests itself. And this sort of leads into the, the skills practice or the role playing that we were doing this week. Um, prior to this, we've been doing sort of 10 minute sessions. And then from this week on, we started to do 50 minutes, 15 uh, minute sessions. So it's given us, you know, uh, our students more time to really dig into the conversation and start to practice uh, a bit more some of the, um, some of the skills, as well as called skills practice. Um, but no, this week was really cool because, you know, we were given that we'd just we'd been talking about the feelings and emotions uh, and also starting to perhaps bring in questions like, um, you know, you, dis- you described feeling angry, where do you feel that in your body? Or recognising uh, and observing certain uh, patterns of behaviour when somebody is talking and then calling that out and challenging them on that and bringing that to their attention. So. There's some really cool examples that I can think of from the skills practice that we did. Um, ones that really stand out to mind, you know, one of the one of the students sort of asked when the other person was talking, we had just observed that they were sort of like putting their hand to their mouth, putting their hand to the neck, and was you know called that out. Said so, you know when you were talking about this thing, this is what you're doing with your hands. What what does that mean? And that was it. Really opened up the conversation. I saw that it was you. Know, it was a really powerful question. You got the person to sort of pause and be like, oh, wait, did I? And then almost think aloud what the reason behind that might have been. And that really just took the conversation in different, um, you know, to a different level. And this is something that we hadn't been able to uh, explore in prior skills practices. So it was cool to see that implementation so quickly after we'd learned it and see the impact of it. So that's definitely something that I will keep you know, in, in mind as we go further on. And yeah, it's just it's it's just really interesting that even at level two, you know, foundation, very basic understanding of the skills, what you can do with those sort of foundational skills. So looking forward to next week, getting more skills practice in and learning a few more nuances. See you soon.